Well, family of a former Oklahoma University football player are grieving after he was found murdered in an apartment in downtown Dallas. Police say 25 year old Devonte Lampkin was apparently shot to death in an apartment on South Herve Street and was found when friends went to check on him Thursday night. Police are still searching for suspects. Fox First Peyton Yeager has the latest after speaking with Lampkin's family. Peyton. And today we are learning more about Devonte Lampkin from his family. His cousin spoke to me today and he tells me that Devonte wanted to follow in his footsteps in a career in real estate here in Dallas after his time in the football field. And there's a lot of questions surrounding what led up to Lampkin's murder, leaving his family to plan a funeral with the suspect or suspects still out there. I couldn't stop crying the other, the other day because all I was just thinking about was the, the memories, you know, him growing up. Carrie Lampkin cheered on his younger cousin, 25-year-old Devontae Lampkin, in all of his life goals. Yeah, let's get it, baby. From his first varsity game at Cy Falls High School in Houston to his last time on the field at the University of Oklahoma. He wanted to, you know, get to that next new chapter and bypass the football. He just reached out to me for spiritual guidance. Devontae Lampkin had a short stint with the Tennessee Titans after college. He played indoor football in Massachusetts, but eventually moved back home to Houston. His cousin Carrie received a text a few months ago. Devontae wanted a mentor during his move to Dallas. He was excited about Dallas. He wanted to get into real estate. He was excited about getting into real estate. And he would have been successful with it because I know that anything he puts his mind to, he's going to conquer it. Kerry, who was in real estate himself, says he was ready to coach him. But the night before Devante was set to move into his new Dallas apartment, the 25-year-old's life was taken. Devante was staying in an Airbnb his friends rented for him off South Herve Street. According to investigators, he stopped answering his phone just after 10 p.m. Thursday. When Devante's friends went to check on him, Police say Devante was found shot to death with his backpack, cell phone, and wallet missing. The motive still unknown. Carrie can't help but question why. He took a great soul that everybody loved. That I mean, Devante would hurt anybody, man. If you, if you really knew Devante, Devante had a, a heart of gold. It's also still unclear how the suspected shooter made it inside the building. But that's strong. We got a good, strong uh, support system. Carrie Lampkin now lending a hand wherever his family needs him. He spent his Saturday coordinating how to move all of Devontae's belongings back home to Houston. It's senseless, man. I know that uh, I put it in God's hand. I believe that uh, justice will be served. And we checked in with Dallas police today. They tell us there are no new updates on this investigation, but we do know there are several surveillance cameras at the apartment complex he was staying at, but as of tonight, there are no arrests.